Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a video on weird facts about animals, so let's get started. So we're going to start off this video with a couple of facts about one of my favorite animals and definitely one of the weirdest animals out there, the platypus. Now most people know that the platypus is kind of a weird duck-beaver-otter hybrid that looks like it really shouldn't even exist. I mean, if there's any intelligent being that creates all life on Earth, you gotta believe that he was probably drunk when he created the platypus. Additionally, the platypus is part of a very small group of egg-laying mammals called monotremes. Now those two are pretty commonly known, but here is a set of facts that you probably have never heard about the platypus. For example, the male has venomous spurs in its rear feet that it can use during mating season to gain a competitive advantage over other males. According to a few sources I looked at, this venom is not powerful enough to kill a human, but it is powerful enough to kill some breeds of dog. Also, the platypus is a carnivore, but it has no teeth. It's actually born with teeth, and then it loses its teeth partway through its adolescence. So once it reaches adulthood, it has to eat small rocks in addition to its food, and these small rocks act as artificial teeth to help it grind up its food. Freaky, right? Another weird thing about the platypus's eating habits is that apparently, according to a number of sources I looked at, the platypus doesn't have a stomach. Its esophagus connects directly to its intestines. How weird is that? Now the platypus is a creature that looks like it's designed to live in water, but surprisingly enough, it spends most of its time on land. Now since its flippers aren't exactly the best design for walking on land, their webbing on their flippers actually retracts and they extend out these claws that they use to walk on land. Now like all other mammals, platypuses still produce milk to feed their young, but, unlike other mammals, they don't have nipples, so what they have instead are these small patches of skin that actually produce milk, and the milk is secreted through the skin. Essentially, they sweat out their milk. I couldn't make this stuff up, guys. I really couldn't. I've also seen claims that when they're hunting underwater, instead of using their sight or their hearing or their smell, they use their bill to detect electrical impulses in the water, in addition to the waves created by their prey moving, and that they use those two combined to kind of map out the entire underwater area around them. Now moving on to some slightly more normal animals. The howler monkey is the loudest land animal. Its calls can be heard from three miles away. In other words, they're the kind of people you don't want to have as neighbors. There's a type of shrimp called the pistol shrimp, and how this shrimp kills its prey is by taking its claw and snapping it shut, and when it snaps it shut, it produces a stream of bubbles that's moving so rapidly that it can kill its prey on impact. Hippos can secrete a substance from their skin that acts as sunscreen. So gingers everywhere should probably start mating with hippos and see if that helps our skin problems a little bit. All clownfish are born male, but when the dominant female in the group dies, another male will become a female to take her place. This phenomenon is called hermaphroditism, and it occurs in some species of fish, snails, and slugs. So there are some scientific inaccuracies in Finding Nemo. Pixar probably should have done a little bit more research. In the line of things that will terrify you and keep you up at night, there is such thing as a flying snake. Now, technically, it's not really flying, it's more falling in style. Wow, I am really going for the Disney references today. But instead of flying, they contort their body to keep themselves up in the air. They actually twist their stomach areas into a sea-like shape so that they can trap more air underneath their bodies and keep themselves aloft. Additionally, they can change directions in the sky while they're flying. Huh. In case you don't know this about me, I am terrified of snakes, so these are my worst nightmare. Once a giant clam picks a spot to live, it doesn't move from that spot for the rest of its life. So it's basically like me when I discover a new Netflix show. I feel like sea creatures are always the weirdest, so here we go with another weird sea creature. Sea cucumbers, in order to escape their predators, will eject their internal organs from their anus. How gross is that? Seriously. Thankfully, they later regenerate these organs, but it's still really weird. So to end on a cute note, some penguins will propose to their mates 
by giving them a little pebble. So it's essentially a penguin engagement ring. All right, guys, thank you for watching. Uh, if you liked this, please go like it down below and subscribe to my channel. I put up videos every Tuesday and Thursday. And uh, if you want to see more videos like this, I love weird facts and I love animals. So if you want to leave a comment down below letting me know what kinds of weird facts you'd like to see, that'd be great. All right, thanks. Bye.